Welcome to the Diecast Showcase. This is the video segment on Keystone Productions where I take the diecast out of their case and show them to you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Lionel NASCAR Authentics version of Chase Elliott's 2016 Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. Well hello YouTube, Eddie from Keystone Productions back again with a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at my new favorite Sprint Cup Drivers 2016 diecast. So without further ado, let's get started with this diecast showcase. So unlike the other two Lionel NASCAR diecasts I've done a showcase video on previously, this uh, car has some slightly different packaging. So let's take a quick look at that. As you can see, the main thing is the diecast comes in a blister instead of a nice box, and we get a magnet included with the car. There's the car in case you couldn't tell. Uh, the overall packaging is pretty bland. It's basic cardstock. We got the driver's name, the car number, uh, the scale, what wave it came from, the NASCAR Authentics logo, and all the other cars in the wave, which is a nice change from how Spin Master used to do it and all the copyright stuff there. But that's enough about the packaging, let's take a look at what we all care about, the car. But we can't do that just yet, here's a quick look at the magnet. It's essentially a pit board sign with the main sponsor, the car number, and the driver name. And it's pretty much just taken out directly from the door, which is kinda cool, it makes for an interesting pit sign. But that's it for this magnet, now we can get on to the diecast. Alright, so I've moved the camera down and as always, let's start off the diecast portion of the diecast showcase with a 360 degree look at the car. Now as you can see, the main colors of the paint scheme on this car are a dark metal flake blue, a light blue, and red. Now, on the Daytona 500 pole version of this car that was just released, the splitter here is actually neon yellow, uh, but I think the paint scheme remained the same throughout the entire year, with the exception of the splitter. And while we're on the topic of paint scheme, let's go over that. It's a really simple, clean paint scheme, and I actually dig it. A lot of people were upset thinking that it was too plain, but for a rookie, I don't think it's too bad. Um, the main thing, well, the only thing are these, well, I think there's four or five, you can count them for yourself, light blue lines that go from uh, just behind the front wheel all the way down the side and stop at the back corner, and they're outlined in this red box. And that's it for the paint scheme. The red box matches the other red accents, like I mentioned before, the splitter and the outline of the number and Chase Elliott's name. But other than that, that's it for the paint scheme. On the back, we have rookie stripes. I suppose I should mention that, because that is part of the paint scheme for this year. And that's really it. A nice, simple, clean paint scheme for the rookie. And I personally really, really like it. Now, similar to Daniel Suarez, uh, Chase Elliott has a wealth of sponsors. As you'll see, we have Napa on the hood. We have Napa above the rear tire. We do have Mountain Dew and BeTheMatch.org down here, as well as the usual Hendrick C-Pillar sponsors. Here's a closer look at them in case you're interested. And there's a look at the C-Pillar while we're at it. Around the back, we have Napa Know How, the slogan for Napa. We have Napa Auto Parts and Napa Know How on the deck lid and roof, respectively and Napa Auto Parts again on this side. One other thing I should probably mention about the 2016 Chevrolet SS are these slight, slightly different fog lamps down here and the addition of the quad exhaust tips instead of the dual exhaust tips on the rear end. And that about wraps up this edition of the Diecast Showcase. Thank you very much for tuning in, and as always, I will be taking this car for a spin in the Diecast Rotation Station as soon as I wrap up the video. So, let's cut out the jibber-jabber that I usually put at the end of the video and cut right to the footage in the Diecast Rotation Station. Thank you once again for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video.